I've been asked, what happens if Measure H does not pass? Won't we proceed with the project anyway? There are very simple and straightforward answers to that question. First, no construction will even possibly begin if Measure H does not pass. It is a simple fact that Cui Delta is applying all of its cash reserves, all of its debt capacity to make this project a reality. But it is a simple fact that we do not have the depth of financial resources to proceed with a project of $550 million without the community support. So, no construction will proceed if Measure H does not pass. Secondly, a new and subsequent general obligation bond will be placed before this community. It will not be a general obligation bond related to a scaled back project. The project that we are proposing is barely sufficient to meet our community's needs. That's just a fact. And so we will need to put a subsequent general obligation bond before the community. Third, it is projected by our architects and engineers that for every year of delay, $15 million in labor and materials escalation costs will ensue, meaning a $550 million project, if delayed by one year, will cost $565 million. If delayed by two years, it will cost $580 million. If delayed by three years, it will cost $595 million. Finally, if Measure H does not pass, we may lose the opportunity to enjoy historically low interest rates.